Last time you faced each other at the European Games, Marvin had to retire. What were you expecting from the German duo at this time? We expected that they will play uh, better, of course, because uh, time passed through, uh, from the European Games. But we saw that he wasn't recover, uh, especially Mark was on the weekend cover 100%. Marvin was way better, I think, especially on, on his mov movement. And that's he caused us a lot of problems in the beginning of the first set. And then I think we matched pretty well to find the key and to go in the rallies and play more with Mark. Uh, was this a good warm-up for the next uh, matches in particular? Yeah, of course it was a good warm-up in doubles. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't a warm-up. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm also playing tonight, so I, I think it's uh, a pretty good point for me to, to win in two, in two sets uh, and not waste energy on court. Uh, so yeah, I think we're pretty happy to win two sets. Yeah. And what preparations have you made going into the World Championships with your coaches especially? Yeah, after opening games we took two weeks break. Uh, we went to holidays to because we did the Asia Tour plus the European Games. A lot of weeks to be on 100 percent. We went to take take off, relax, and then we trained for since one month, uh, trying to be as, as in the best best shape as we can. And we did some camps, so I think we did pretty, pretty well, well, and yeah. we managed pretty well to be on on the top shape in this tournament. And lastly, you're both playing singles and men's uh, doubles. What advantages and disadvantages do you see from doing this in competitions? Uh, I think uh, there's a good advantage as being uh, in the um, having some also, uh, I would say, uh, tips in the hole uh, after playing doubles. Uh, we have more time on court than the others in singles. But of course, there's a big negative point, which is energy uh, on court uh, uh, that we spend uh, and mental energy. Also. Mm -hmm.